Santa looked down below to houses all cosy and covered in snow, where snoozers were snoozing, tucked up in their beds, whilst dreaming the most festive dreams in their beds. But one boy called Danny, a greedy young chap, the greediest chap on the planet in fact, was lying awake on his mountain of toys which stood even taller than most girls and boys. But that wasn't enough. Danny still wanted more. He wanted much more than his toy box could store. So Big Santy C said, I'll leave him a present. But this year his present might just be unpleasant. Danny heard such a clatter. His heart skipped a thump. "'Twas the clopping of hooves going clippity-clump. "'He bounced out of bed and threw on some clothes "'and crept down the stairs on his tippy-toes. "'There, under the tree, were gifts big and small "'and a ginormous egg placed in front of them all. "'An egg?' Danny said. "'Santa brought me an egg?' "'Then, out with a crack, popped a dinosaur's head.' It wasted no time on that cold Christmas morning and started to eat everything without any warning. It swallowed the stockings and Christmas cards too, the red fairy lights, then the green and the blue. There wasn't a single thing Danny could do except sit and watch as the dinosaur chewed. It chewed and it munched and it crunched on Kris Kringle, the reindeer, the sleigh bells and all things that jingle. But it didn't stop there, there were more things to gobble, much more than the shiny small baubles that bobble. It ate up the cat and the dog and the fish and from the dishwasher it drowned every dish. The tables, the chairs, the walls and the doors, now nothing was safe, not even the floors. Now, reader, beware! The next part is scary, and if you read on, you'll need new underwear -y. Danny's poor granny was knitting some socks, but the dino had no need for socks. It had lots, so it slurped up her knitting like strings of spaghetti and gobbled up granny along with the settee. Danny's mum, she was gone in one bite, and although Danny's dad tried to put up a fight, the dino had grown to the size of King Kong. With a gulp and a burp, Danny's father was gone. Now nothing was left. All Danny could see was a fat dinosaur where his home used to be. And so, with the thought of no Christmas this year, his tears turned to snowflakes and then disappeared. With the feeling of guilt in the dinosaur's gut, its brain brewed a plan involving its butt. It knew there was only one thing it could do to put Christmas right. It needed to... POO! It pooped out the turkey, the toys and the telly, and even the tinsel was now brown and smelly. It pooped all the presents and pieces of puzzles. It pooped all the things it had previously guzzled. And then Father Christmas yelled, OUT OF THE WAY! As he flew from the dinosaur's bum on his sleigh. <laughs> the dinosaur finally gave a huge push and pooped Danny's parents in one massive whoosh! Last but not least, and never forgotten, Granny plops out of the dinosaur's bottom. Merry Christmas, said Dan to his whole family, as they washed off the presents and put up the tree. 
and the greedy young chap that you saw just before promised next Christmas he'd not ask for more. And the dinosaur promised he'd not eat a crumb. As you would if Christmas came out of your bum. I really hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. Have a lovely Christmas. Bye! Merry Christmas!